The newest developments in the coronavirus pandemic and Harris County Judge Lena Hidalgo's stern message to Governor Greg Abbott. Good evening, everyone. I'm Chris Gutierrez. And I'm Lauren Freeman. Today, the reproduction rate or the average number of people infected by one person with the virus went up to 1.18. That is up from yesterday's 1.11, according to the Texas Medical Center. Any number above one means the virus is increasing. Harris County officials just spoke about the latest pandemic trends they are calling alarming. Let's get the very latest from Channel 2 Health reporter Haley Hernandez. That's right, guys. So Judge Lena Hidalgo not really hiding her feelings here. She strongly discourages gathering. And we know it is a sad time of year to stay away from your family. But the way trends are going, she says it's just not safe or smart. And she encourages people to get tested in order to know who should quarantine to slow the spread. And she says this is your responsibility, your sacrifice to make in order to overcome this difficult time. And then not so subtly, accused state leaders of letting history repeat itself. We should be asking more of all levels of government too, not just of the community. That's why every two weeks at court, we pass measures to mitigate the impacts of the virus, why our public health staff works day and night to try and contain this. That's why we need the state to step in and lead or get out of the way and let us lead. Now, of course, we hope this might only last a few more months. We know at least two vaccines by Moderna and Pfizer could be ready for emergency use authorization in a few weeks. And today, Pfizer said they're starting a pilot delivery program in four states, including here in Texas. Now, this program, it's kind of like a practice run that Pfizer says could serve as a model on how to distribute. It really doesn't mean that any state is receiving a vaccine yet or that they'll get differential consideration, but the Pfizer candidate requires extremely, extremely cold temperatures that are significantly below the standard for other vaccines. So even some of the big hospitals in our area don't have the ability to store drugs as cold as this one needs to go. That's why this pilot delivery is necessary for the Pfizer vaccine candidate.